Mwama Ryoko. Now I said in a previous video, uh, this would be my last video of this device on this channel. Well, however, they returned the product to me unopened. Here it is. Order expired, which leads me to believe what one of my commenters said about this return address. It is a fake. Whichever is true, they sent it back to me. Well, let me show this time putting the SIM card in the device and attempting to activate it. Let's go. So this is authentic. It was $57. You can see there. Oh, $57.50. Okay. Uh, and you look at the address. Let's see. <laughs> I'll peel that off. And uh, there is the uh, Lithuania address on it. It was sent there. It was sent. But the whole thing was it was stopped at the port. The customs checked it in. And the address after that was fake. Wherever it was going to did the address probably did not exist and that's why the order uh, expired. So let's open this baby up and uh, let's see what we got here. And the uh, RMA number, everything was still attached uh, to the product and it never left the port. So here is the box and I open it and inside is the SIM card inside this envelope which goes into the device. We will put that in in a moment. And there is your Mwama device. So let's do this. Uh, so you want to make sure that this device is powered up fully with the uh, USB charger. Good, nice and charged. You want to press this side button for five seconds and power it on. And you go to the next step. So the next step is you uh, turn it around to the back. And here, Right here, you want to use your fingernail. If not strong enough, use a knife. Pull the back off. And there you have the battery. And that's the next thing that has to be removed to put the SIM card in. So here's the next step, moving the battery off. Pull it off just like that. And it's right here. If you look at it from your side, it's the far right. This plate on the right, not on the left. It does not go there. It goes right here on the right side underneath that slides underneath that plate with the metal side uh, facing the plate so they can make the contact and you can see the shape design of the uh, SIM card right there it shows you how it should go in and uh, there's a the SIM card there's the other side of it so I'm going to show you how that goes in this little piece here, very small, so you have to be very careful with it. I'm gonna slide it right in there. And it's showing you basically how uh, it goes in with those cut corners in the side. It matches the way they have it on the black. And it goes and it slides right in there. So uh, this is the correct way, according to the instructions, the way it should go. So let's put it back together. Battery, back in there. And we're gonna put the top back on. The back back on, should I say. Then let's go to the next step of activating this device. So uh powered it on. I don't know if you can see that. The the 4G strength on the left. If you're looking at it from your side left, and the Wi-Fi strength and the battery strength on the far uh right side there. But uh, I'll click the bottom button, which is the bottom half of this. And that shows the, uh, the QR code. And this is what has to be scanned. So let me just scan that real quick. So if you, you scan the QR code on, on the device from your phone, that'll uh, pull up the information for the uh, default SSID and the uh, default password to to unlock this, to get into uh, the Wi-Fi. So I press this for, f let's see, five seconds to see what happens. Right now they're dealing with T-Mobile, so let's see what happens. So it says, 
WPS active and waiting. So, uh, it's, again, these instructions are still kind of vague, you know, but you really have to be uh, savvy, you know, and, and read everything. But this is going to happen through your phone, uh, through your uh, Wi-Fi, and you will see Ryoko right there. Uh, where did it go? It's there. Ryoko is there. Now it's somewhere at the bottom. So uh, I'm going to assume that I press that and then unlock it with the password, the default password, uh, an SSID. So let's try that. So after the WPS is waiting, when you get that, uh, you go right to your phone and you look for Ryoko. That should be uh, with the default SSID. You look for that on your Wi-Fi and you click onto that and then you uh, enter the password. It's a password prompt is going to come up and you enter your password, uh, the default password that they gave you. And this one is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But uh, it did not work the first time. Uh, so I did it again and it finally went through. And so, yes, you can see there, Ryoko, uh, it is working. And it's full, it's full strength, full bars. But uh, here's what I want to say about this. Uh, uh, how, how, how long does this last? That's the whole deal. Because once this Wi-Fi runs out, the 500 megabytes of it, it runs out, uh, that's it. Then they give you, they prompt you to, uh, you want to buy some more. Uh, <laughs> and that's like, what, $22? $22 for how many gigs? Uh, I can't, I don't remember. It's been so long, but... Uh, you know, they'll offer you a, uh, to buy a plan. And that plan costs $22, a basic plan is $22 a month. And, uh, but shucks, if they're, if they're run by AT&T, they're licensed to, however, if you see AT&T, not AT&T, I'm sorry, <laughs> T-Mobile, if you're seeing T-Mobile on there, right, uh, why, why can't you get this from your own network? I mean, and, and here uh, in America, a TT Mobile. So why get a plan for them way over there where you can get that over here? Well, I, I really look at it as a waste of a waste of time, really. But it does work, and I'll, I'll update you uh, if depending on uh, and see just how long this thing works. If well, there's another video, <laughs> how long does this thing work? Because it's uh, it's only 500 megabytes of uh, of data. That's not even one streaming downloaded movie. So that's not much before it's gone and you're going to have to be paying for a plan when you can really have a plan right here in the United States. Uh, so this is free 500 megabytes of, of data that they give you. Once that runs out, you have to uh, use a plan. You can buy from them a basic plan of $22 a month or you get your own plan, I guess... Uh, you can try in the United States. I said, that's something that I will do, uh, uh, have a plan. If I can stick someone else's plan in here, uh, a SIM card from uh, T-Mobile or whoever, AT&T, if I can use it in this, I'll use it and I'll continue to use this because this is, uh, uh, this is not worth returning, okay? I, there's not, I don't, do not believe that there is an address that this returns to. It's sent out from the address when you order it, but when it comes back, you want to send this back and say, I want my money back. Well, uh, uh, it's going to be sitting there at the port, and it might end up being returned back to you. Whether you get your money back, if you do it the right way through PayPal, you might, you might stand a chance of getting your money back if you want your money back. But this thing, actually, it does, it does work, and uh, I'll see how long it works because I use it with Uber. So... Uh, We'll, 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 we'll see. But when this runs out, um, I really, it just doesn't make sense for me to uh, buy a Wi-Fi plan when I have one right here in the United States. So, till next time, next video, uh, I share my, my stories as well with the ride share. Uh, so, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.